guys, it's Tyler and it is Wedding Wednesday. Uh, last week um, I was actually cheating because I used a really old video, well not really old, but it was it was in a video that I'd already filmed quite a while ago because you could see from my really crap hair. Um, because I filmed it but then thought, oh no, I'll save it for when I do my new series. So, yeah. But, so this is the first, technically this is the first one I've done properly. Um, but yeah, Wedding Wednesday. So I kind of thought I would take this opportunity to kind of do a recap on where I've got up to because obviously I got engaged in New Year's Eve last year. It's not this one just gone, but the one before. In fact, I will tell you about that briefly. We'd been on holiday to Norfolk anyway. And we went to this lovely little cottage hotel called North Reps. I'll put the link to the hotel boat like below. Um, and it was a gorgeous place, and it was just such a perfect holiday because I used to go to Norfolk all the time when I was when I was little, and, um, and so it was nice to take him to the the haunts of where I used to go. And anyway, on the holiday there was this gorgeous restaurant which isn't there anymore. Well, it is there, but it's closed down now. And we used to go there for our anniversary and our um, and New Year's. We kind of made it a, a sort of new tradition, but then it closed down. And we we're like, oh, okay. Um, and apparently that was where he was going to take me to propose, but instead because it had closed down, he took me to the hotel that we first stayed at. So I didn't know obviously, and it was just a like a ball, well it wasn't a ball, but it was like a posh meal and there was like a band playing and I thought oh, this would be nice for New Year's, we don't really usually do anything, it'd be lovely. So I was sat there in my little dress and he was drinking a lot of whiskey and I'm thinking well he does like whiskey and it's New Year's, fine. Looking back he was dead nervous and that's why he was drinking so much whiskey, but obviously I didn't know this at the time. So he was knocking down the whiskey, I was just in a little world of my own and um, on the tables, because it was New Year's, they'd, I think they'd put crackers down or they'd put, like, the people who was running the hotel had put all these things down to play with, like, I think there were bubbles and there were the balloons that ooh, you kind of, you let them go and they go flying across the room or all this kind of stuff, like, cool fun stuff. And it was just us two and then there were lots of, sort of tables of groups of friends and stuff, so we were the only sort of couple I think that were just us two on our own. So I was um, like entertaining myself with this balloon thing and um, as it had flown down it had gone onto the floor so I reached down to pick it up and when I sat back up again it had gone and I was just like okay and then I saw him on the floor and I thought I was helping me pick up the balloons and then I sort of looked properly and I saw a little box and I thought oh my god What's he doing? And then I heard like all these other people kind of like going, oh, you know, and uh, total strangers, of course. So I could see how nervous he was. I could just tell in his face how nervous he was, and it kind of made sense that why he was drinking so much. For the life of me, I can't remember exactly what he said, but it was along the lines of how much he loved me and and how he wanted to spend his life with me. And I was just like, oh my god. And then you know, he proposed. <laughs> So obviously I didn't even look at the ring properly, I just sort of like yes and kind of hugged and then the people clapped and it was just really nice and it was so perfect and by the time we kind of, I put the ring on and, which is here by the way, by the time I put the ring on I was so like exhausted and he was exhausted from sort of drinking quite a few whiskies that we just kind of went to, went to sleep. So anyway that was how he proposed but that's not what I want to talk about today. Today I was going to just talk about like a recap of what we've done so far and um, and what we've got coming up. So, okay, so I've got a list of what I've done. <laughs> Set a date, yes, it's the 28th of September. It's on a Sunday, but that's fine. Um, chosen the venue and package, yes, we chose the venue, which is why it's on a Sunday, because the venue that we've got is like, they're really popular for weddings, and they had one on the Saturday around when uh, I wanted it. We wanted it, we. And then like, chosen the package. So there's, because there's lots of different packages, you get like, bronze, silver and gold packages depending on your budget and what you want and everything. So we chose all that. We decided on a theme. It's a James Bond themed wedding. That's his idea, but I actually really like that idea quite a lot because there's so many ideas, like there's so many things you can do with it. <laughs> Book the registrar, yes, they're expensive. And the um, reading of the bands or whatever it is where you basically have to declare that you're getting married however long. I think it's like a 12, 12 months before the actual wedding. It was like 70 quid just for an appointment, but it needs to be done, so. Um, so we, we ordered the rings, we did that, I think that was the first thing we did, ordered the rings, I can't even remember which one. Oh no, I think they sent me an email with it in, like a picture of it, and I'm like, was that the one? <laughs> but it, it'll be better once I see it, because we they've got like their own kind of um, 
forgery. No, that's not what it's called. You know what I mean. They have their own place where they make them. And um, and so they said it'll be ready by July to actually see and get it for a final fitting and everything. So I'll remind myself again in July what they actually look like. Um, Chris has gone for like a manly sort of titanium looking thing. And I've gone for a girly, <laughs> um, like flowery type engraving on it. I plain band, there's no diamonds or anything on it, it's just a nice plain band but engraved, but I thought that was really, really cute, and white gold to match my engagement ring, because that's white gold. Booked the photographer, we've done that, looking forward to that. We actually have, um, Chris's friend has done photo shoots with her before, so, and, and we'd emailed a few times as well, so I feel quite comfortable that uh, we, we've made a very good decision, because the website is, you know, she's she's got her portfolio online, so I've been able to look at the photos of what she's doing, she's got like a blog that she updates every now and then, so like if she goes for a photo shoot she'll put photos up and get to see what she's been doing so um, I'm really looking forward to that and we've got a, a pre-wedding shoot like um, oh it's like engagement photos but obviously a bit late now but just general nice photos that um, we can have as like complimentary as part of the package so we get to meet her before the big day plus we'll have some nice photos but just just because Facebook oh and obviously the save the date cards have gone out which was last week's video <laughs> um, so I think that's pretty much the big things that we've done. Uh, we're not going to have a car because I'm going to stay at the venue the night before. Chris is going to stay at our house um, the night before with the best man, which is his brother. And um, he's just going to get it's literally like around the corner from our house. Well, not around the corner, but it's, it's, it's pretty close from our house. What's coming up next are uh, the invites, which Kat, who had done the stationery, and I'll put the links below, she is going to be doing the invites as well. I'm so excited because like, I've written down all the information that I think we're going to have in the invites. So now she's going to be sort of working on drafts and we'll, we're kind of going to be brainstorming on how to do the RSVPs and all that thing. So really excited about that. Um, so yeah, the invites is the next thing, but also thinking about the tables and the dressing, like dressing all the tables and finalising the, the um, table settings as, because obviously that's going to change with who can come and who can't, but just to get an idea of who's going to go on each table and everything, that's going to be, um, that's going to be the next big challenge. Flowers, um, I was saying to mum the other day, I'm not that bothered about flowers, I've never really been a flowery kind of girl, really. Um, the only flowers I really like or know of are carnations, which is pretty much what I'm having for the flowers. Um, and mainly because carnations, A, they last for ages, so they're quite, you know, it's like a good bargain. But B, uh, they're my birth flower, and every time Chris ever gets me flowers, they're always carnations because he knows how much I love them. So it made sense that we'd go for carnations, but I don't really know what's we're gonna do with the flowers. We, we, we kind of joked but half seriously said we could go to Asda and get them because the ones from Asda last for, like they, they really last for ages. They're the ones that Chris gets me. It's always a two for one. And um, and yeah, they, they just seem to last for a really long time. So and obviously they're gonna be cheap. So I think you just get a load from Asda. But I don't know if I'm serious or joking or not. I, I really can't, I don't know. I literally would. Because again, like I said, I'm not, I'm not massively into flowers. I'm not a, well, I am a girly girl in the sense that I am. It's difficult. I am very girly, but some like every now like it's difficult to explain because on the one hand I'm really girly. I've got like teddies everywhere, but at the same time like I'm really not girly girly. I'm I'm weird. <laughs> Chris's mum is doing the cake, and um, I'm not going to say anything about the cake yet because I want that to be a total surprise for the guests. I might obviously you'll see like vlogs and stuff about the cake but I'm not gonna give you the um, the final kind of what we're going for because a it's still because obviously Chris's mum is doing it it might not go how we exactly plan it so I don't want to put any pressure on her but uh, yeah it's yeah I'm gonna leave that as a surprise some people do know about it already but for the majority I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that as a surprise because if it goes to how we want it it's gonna be amazing but um, like I said, I don't want to. I don't want to ruin the surprise for everyone. Oh, the dress! <laughs> oh, yeah, the dress. Yeah, Chris is gonna see if he can hire um, the um, all the men's like the the male wedding party clothes. Um, and I've I've chosen my dress. It's online. I just need to order it and then get it altered and stuff. And the bridesmaid. I'm having one bridesmaid and 
um, it's my best friend Heather, which you've seen in another vlog before. Um, I'll put a link to the latest one of her in. But yeah, she's she's my bestest friend. She's just so funny, so caring, so lovely, and she's definitely level-headed enough that she'll keep me sort of on the right track on the day. So, and she's kind of the one who got us back together again, me and Chris, because she's the one that kept saying, do you like him? And I'm like, no. And she was like, yeah, you do. And then she actually messaged messaged Chris on Facebook to get us back together in the first place. So yeah, it's all Heather's fault, which is perfect, the fact that she's now gonna be the bridesmaid. So that's where we are uh, so far. Bit of a long video, sorry. But um, yeah, it's just that a lot's happened since I first pl planned it. And because I've left it so late to do these videos, there's a lot of ground to cover. So um, so yeah, hopefully I'll be more regular now with my updates so they won't be so long. But um, yeah, that's, that's where we are. And I hope you're continuing to uh, join me on this journey towards the wedding. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, I will see you next week for um, probably hopefully a better um, update more more detailed this was more of a summary but hopefully i'll be able to go into a bit more detail with what's going on um but yeah for now i'll love you and leave you and don't forget that there is a new schedule to the, the videos so mondays is austin monday tuesdays is beauty tuesday and obviously wednesdays is wedding wednesday and um i still do my daily vlogs but they're not going to be daily because, well, they, they might be, it depends what's happening. Um, but I can't commit to 100% daily vlogs. So um, just think of them more as a day in the life every now and then when something interesting happens or when I remember to do it. That's, that's, I mean, that's a bit of a long title, which is why I just call them daily vlogs. So, yeah. So I hope you're having an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.